Hey friends, today I have my March update for my 22 in 2022. I'm just going to go ahead and share with you things that I have visible progress on or visible weight change on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my foundation that I'm working on. This is a new from uh, YSL. Uh, this is their Bare Look Tint. So I am about here. I hadn't been able to mark it because it hadn't settled quite yet. Um... It feels really light, so I'm kind of surprised to be marking it so high, but I do use this pretty much every day that I wear makeup, except for today I wanted to use something else. Um, so this is where we're at. So last month it was uh, 31.3, today we're sitting at 24.6, so I am using it. Um, that's where we are. And then um, for the Billion Dollar Brows, I am, it went down from 9.8 to 9.7. It's in my brows today. My brows don't look that great because I need to get them done. Um, but this is what the brush looks like. Sometimes I feel like when I swirl in there, I don't get much product. But this is not, it doesn't have that much use on it, so I don't know what's going on. Um... My Urban Decay Demolition Liner finally lost some weight. <laughs> so it started at 5.4, today's at 5.2. This is what it looks like. Um, still, still there. It's like a little over two cap, cap lengths long. <laughs> I don't really know how to mark this because I will lose the paper if I mark it on paper. Um, next is my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I use it every day I wear makeup. Um, so this went from 62.7 to 62.2. If you, this is what the wand looks like. It just, ah, oh, it comes with so much products on the wand. Um, so that's like a little frustrating, um, but I'm wearing it today with um, something on top of it. Um, next, my Wander Beauty Dualist Concealer. It went from 31.3 to 30.4. I do use this every time I wear makeup. Um, I finally marked the cap. So that's it rolled all the way up. This is where the plastic. Um, and it is dual-ended. So this one, I feel like, um, it doesn't settle really well, but this is what this looks like and I feel like I'm maybe like halfway maybe I don't want to take out the stopper yet because it still dispenses just fine um but that one oops that one is going um next I have my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in between the sheets that's what this one is looking like it is getting kind of dry so I kind of want to move it back all to the center again and see if maybe that helps it a little bit um, but it's going. Next, I have my Juvia's Brow Pencil. So last time we were here and now I'm here. Um, I just marked this with nail polish, so it might still be wet. <laughs> so this is how much I have left. I'm hoping to have this done by next month. Hopefully. Um, so I'm working on that one. And then my Beauty For Real Shadow Sticks and Ever Starstruck. Um, we were there last time. I'm here now. I don't want to... <laughs> can't open it. Okay. I didn't... Okay, I didn't get no polish on me. Okay, this is where we're sitting at. I do use it in my inner corner every time I wear makeup. Um, I do kind of want to start using it as an eyeshadow base. Because I know it, it will go much quicker that way. But... Um, for now, just my inner corner. Um, let's see. My bot. No, no, no. Uh, my Cover FX Dewy Skin. We're here. Now I'm here today. It's pretty consistent progress. Um, on that one. So that one's going to be in for, for a, a bit longer. At least six months, I would say. Next. Oh, so that one went from 45.2 to 42.3. So I used almost three grams. And then I have my Bronzino in West Coast from Tower 28. This one went down 0.1 from 30.4 to 30.3. .3. 
And then um, I have my perfume. It went from 419.8 to 418.1. I don't like it as much as I thought I did. <laughs> so it's going to be a while, but it's finally like below um, the like top section. <laughs> so I actually forgot to pull two things. I actually have my first empty, which I'm really excited about. But before I show you guys that, um, I want to show you the liquid shadow i have been working on so last time i was here and i scraped everything out because the little paddle fell off uh, <laughs> so i am like kicking it into high gear and i'm really trying to finish this because it's drying out i actually have it on today um but this is how much i have left i think i can finish it um like the top is starting to dry out because I sprayed um, some spray in there. Um, but the like top section is drying out, but the bottom is still like fine. Um, but I am going to try my hardest to finish it this month because I really don't want it to go to waste because I actually really like it. Um, but that's where we're sitting for that one because this packaging fail. <laughs> Um, but I do have an empty. Um, I actually finished my Cover FX setting spray. Uh, this is their high performance setting spray, the 24 hour wear, and I'm happy to have it done. I just had um, this spray bottle full and then I finished it and I actually had to decant something else because the sprayer broke on that product. So it worked out. Um, but yeah, excited to have a full size setting spray out of my collection already. Um, so those are the items I'm working on. So I still have, um, did I have another empty? My numbers? No, no, no. That's my first empty. Um, so I'm still working on 21 items, but all of them are having pretty consistent, um, use on them. So I'm really proud of myself for being consistent, um, with these products uh, for the most part. Um, but yeah, that's my update for my 22 in 2022. If you're doing this one too, let me know. I would love to go check it out. And that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on my next video.